Hello everyone, this is Brian from Brian Tech. Today, I'm going to show you how you can generate UML diagram, which is commonly used for programming SQL diagram, entity diagram, and other things through GitHub Copilot. So without further ado, let's get started. But before we get any further, there are some prerequisites you have to meet before getting started. First, you need to have a GitHub account. The reason for this is that that GitHub account should have a GitHub Copilot license attached to it. So because we are going to primarily using GitHub Copilot to most of the stuff, to the heavy lifting. Then there are different ID we can utilize, but we're going to primarily use Visual Studio Code. And that had a better has Copilot plugin and Copilot chat plugin installed. And we do need some SQL file, we do need a test, and possibly programming file so we can do see some entity diagram, UML, using those files. Lastly, although it's optional, it'd be good if you can create a repository so you can create a, and see that the UML diagram, and you'll see why. Some of you may be new to get a copilot, if so, check out my previous video they cover some of the basics about Gitto Copilot. But Gitto Copilot, in essence, is AI-powered completion tool made by GitHub that helps developers to write code faster. It's primarily done using the IDE. There are some features now available in GitHub.com, but primarily, and then it's done through the IDE. There are GitHub Copilot CLI or GitHub CLI that can utilize Copilot, but we're in this demo, we'll primarily use our Visual Studio Code editor, IDE, to do the auto completions and then do all the magic behind the scene. And I'm going to use Mermaid. This is kind of built in within GitHub. Um, as you see, though, as so like even GitHub Copilot can generate the files, the Mermaid, Mermaid file. To display it, you have to use this. So we'll use this, utilize this. And for this, we need a sample SQL file. So here's a website we can visit. From there, you can find out some of the sample databases. And in this case, I'm going to get up and then I'm going to grab this SQL file called employees partition. And then some there has to be some regular sanitizing, like removing foreign primary key, as you will see later. But anyway, for now, I'm going to grab this file. Okay, all right, okay. So here's my Visual Studio Code, and you can see I have my project edit. Right now, the Java file is empty, that's all right. But I have a SQL file I grabbed from the MySQL database website you seen earlier. It has a bunch of a table, it's database tables here. So I can probably find some relationship here. So I'm going to go to, but before that, make sure that you have a GitHub Copilot um, set up you can see I log into get a copilot and I have my extension for copilot install. I'm going to go to get a copilot chat. I'm going to ask, can you generate? I'm going to make sure to highlight it, the uh, SQL file, and then go here. Can you generate entity diagram for, for file? I'll just say file. And I'm going to say sample.sql file. So this is the reason why we, you're, you want to do this is sometimes it's not necessary, but this helps to make sure that context become the SQL file, not just the function or the specific lines, make sure they include everything here using mermaid, right? So it helps to make sure to grab everything here. And then we got in the first slide, try, so it's good. So, but what are we supposed to do with this? You can ask Git Copilot, what can I can I do to see the diagram? And there are a couple of ways to do it. You can see that there's a mermaid extension and etc. But you can then generate these kind of things. So let's go with the first approach, which is uh, to use um, extension. So I'm going to go to extension and I'm going to search for mermaid. And there's different things there, um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably download the most popular one. 
so which is uh, has 2.2 million download so I'm going to install this so if I go here which is a Giro Copilot chat I'm going to copy this and I'm going to create a new file I'm going to call the mermaid the uml.md file I'm going to paste that now if I would paste that I'm going to see here it doesn't right now show anything but let me see if I can add this and then do this so just because I installed the extension now you can see that now is entity relationship diagram is generated so you can get this way by your utilize extension available through the uh, Visual Studio code um, but there I can sh I'll show you other way which is through the github repository okay so I create a sample repository or I'm using the older one before the one I had it before but any repository you can get into you can test this out there are a number of different ways to do it but I'm going to just add a file and then I'm going to go back to I need to grab some that that MD file so I'm going to paste that you can see that this is grabbed from the the previous one I need to make sure that it has like uh, this three triple the, the parentheses things like at the end and I'm going to name this as UML the MD now if I see the preview it should be now able to show that diagram the reason why is able to do that is because GitHub support mermaid now behind the scene and you don't necessarily have to create a like uh, the file issues or pull requests for that as well so if I create an issue and then I paste it here and then if I do this and then you can see this is now the entity diagram so pretty cool right so this is another way you can utilize um, the uh, mermaid that was generated through the copilot so I think that I'm going to play with the uh, the program file in addition to SQL file this is a class I took before when I was in UT Austin so I'm going to grab the URL I mean the, the, the file but you can technically use other file like C sharp or .net whatever you can find but for now I'm going to grab this and then I'm going to test this out okay so here's my java file um you can see just a different classes let's work with this file and then turn it the uh, diagram right so i'm going to i can continue with this but i'm going to create a new by clicking this plus button i'm going to ask can you generate an entity relationship diagram for this file I'm going to do this and then I'm going to select the Java using mermaid so this is a kind of like a, the result I think it has a very simple one because I think it's other things are like kind of like you know functions and then other things right so it's pretty simple nothing special but I can still use it and then how can I display this as a diagram okay so it kind of does it a little bit but I think that what I want to do is I want to include the mermaid so I guess I will just grab this as it is I'm going to create a new file called the uh, UML Java and then paste that and then I definitely want to put the mermaid there okay I could have possibly find this more complicated example but this is what I have I'm going to say that and then you can see this is as simple as that so of course it's going to work in the github side as well but that's all I have for today and then if you liked it please like my video and feel free to subscribe and then yeah see you next time bye bye